Hey everyone, it's Marie Six again, showing how to do a removal intake. The main bolts. First, you gotta move this throttle, which are all ten. I already unloosened all these. Then after that, you gotta make sure all your stuff is out the way so you can remove this light cover. You don't want to mess it up. Is your throttle? I'm gonna remove this tin. Use your fuel reel, electrical plug. And then you wanna move this. It's a cover for your extra fuel pump, fuel pressure pump. There's two tins on the side right here. Then you have one nut right here, it's a 10, already on loosen. Then you can remove this cover. Remove the insulation, be careful not to rip it. Well first we got 17 millimeter. This little fuel line on loosen. Make sure you have something to catch it. You know, I don't think there's that much gas in here though. Move that, put your styrofoam, let's keep it cool. And then you're gonna add two more tins you wanna move. And then I just moved the tin right here so this whole piece come out the way. And then we have some half bolts behind this. I'll turn you guys right back on. Okay, I removed the fuel pump pressure right here. All I do is undo them two bolts. And this one right here. Now I undid this clamp, they irritate and sometimes they have pressure, but undo the clamp, move it out the way. And now I can get these half bolts. This one you just put a wrench on, 13 millimeter. Or if you got to, put a good snap on long socket. And then this half right here. Then we're gonna move this, and then we got about five more halves. You wanna be careful moving this without trying to rip or tear it, which is coming loose pretty good. And I'll bring you guys right back. All right, I got this off without no rips and tears. You just gotta guide it out real good. Make sure you don't get it caught on anything. It's the insulation. And now I'm gonna use the half 13 millimeter and three A's drive. In my last video, I said I'll explain this for people who don't know. The little or red mid size I call it is three eighths, and then you got a half drive. It's way bigger. You can use this time loosening some stuff, but torquing it down sometimes you don't want to do it tight. But all right, I'm loosening all these. Here's the other one, two, three, four, five bolts you got to loosen for the intake. Sometimes this nut comes off and the stud stays in, but it don't matter. Whatever it does, you just put it back in like that or get another one on loose in the nut and put it back in. These are all half. I didn't say that already. And then be careful because sometimes these stay on there and then when you put it on the next part or you transferring it, you might have two of them. You don't want to get it jammed up. Stud stayed in, just the nut came off. 
And that's it. Got this sign out. Careful not to move your oil line. That's it, guys. That's the intake. Majority of the tools I use is half 10 millimeter socket, flathead, pick. And then I learned you want to make sure when you do, you want to get the carbon. If you're putting a new one on, get the carbon. Look, this is all built up carbon in here. This is supposed to be a clear hole. Well, you guys like the video? Like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate everyone. Really helps. Other stuff you have, you have a half wrench for the ones with the nuts on the stud, or you can just get a long half. The 17 millimeter for the gas line. And then just have your pliers, of course, just keep them. That's all I got. Have a good day.